Hello everyone and welcome to this Nova AI review video. Today I'm going to be telling you everything you're going to need to know about Nova and as if you do have any questions please leave them in the comment section down below. I will also be leaving a discount link in the description of this video so that you can always get your money's worth for Nova AI. So Nova AI is essentially a really nice streamlined way of managing all of your digital videos and translating or adding subtitles to those particular videos themselves. This is the dashboard that we've got. We've got the option to view home, we've got the option to view our files, and then we have a help option as well. You can also invite people to your dashboard along with creating different projects if that's what you wish, and a support channel at the bottom right. So we're gonna very, very quickly just jump straight into this without any messing around. So hitting this, we can either import a video itself, you can import a TikTok link, you can add a video from an existing library, or you can insert a YouTube link. So I'm gonna be going ahead and uploading a YouTube link. I'm gonna find a video and we'll import it in just a moment. So here we are, I've gone and imported this sunset video that I found on TikTok. And essentially, this is where we can begin our editing process. So we have the duration. So if I hit play, as you can see, there it is. It's just a simple sunset with a vocal in the background. So I'm gonna go ahead and unmute it so that you can hear it. Um, and essentially what we're gonna do with this is make it so that you can have subtitles for maybe the audio that you can hear and stuff like that. And then what we can do is we can go to the subtitles page. Now, this is where it will transcode. It will find every single you know word that it can, um, and it will turn that into text that we can then use to subtitle the video. So obviously, if this is on something where maybe you're doing a demonstration, um, then this is the absolutely perfect use. But I want to show you that it can really sort of knuckle down and find even the basis of you know, subtitled video, because a lot, a lot of the time, if you're trying to use AI in order to find something that is sung or a song or something like that, it sometimes struggles because obviously it's not said in a way that a human would say it. And an AI is obviously written in order to understand the human's type of speech and not somebody singing the words, but it will still do a decent, decent job of it that we can then amend if the things are incorrect. But as you can see, this while we're waiting for it to load is what the timeline looks like. We can add a subtitle by ourselves. We can split a subtitle in half and we can also return to our original timeline here. And by hitting this button, as I showed you, you can can obviously switch between it but as you can see it started the transcode so if we hit auto subtitle that will have created our auto sort of a subtitle thing and we can add a language so we will do English and we'll do it from the United Kingdom and hit generate obviously this is American but it won't really change much about it um, after a few minutes it will have generated our thing so obviously it may take several minutes depending on the length of your video it's a relatively short video it's only about 11 to 12 seconds long so this shouldn't take too long to generate but when it has i will be back so here we are as you can see as it is found the words you say i would never yeah yeah so if we hit this it will find the bit so as you can see you, you say i would never fall in love so there obviously are a few bits, but as you can see, that is what the system would be. And if you were doing something like I am doing right now and just speaking normally into your mic without a backing track, without stuff like that, it would in fact do really, really well. So that's one thing to consider. That is one of the things that I like about this software and why I think it's very, very good. You're also able to add a sentence. So if I add a sentence and go to a bit and we'll, we'll, we'll hear what it says first. Fall in love again until I fall in love again so we'll put fall in love again until i and then as you can see that will have found the bit getting at here is we need to make it so that these time codes are at the right bit so then we have the next bit here which is obviously the bit that we just created so if i extend this a little bit just a tad um that will obviously be the next bit and you'd want to time this into the correct thing so obviously subtitle box can't overlap but once you've created it it'll be a little bit more like this and then there is the area where the fall in love comes in so then we would extend this one just a little bit until about there
that's essentially how the subtitling works. So you obviously requires a little bit of manual intervention if it's on something like this. But if it was on something that isn't, and this is just a ordinary, you know, uh, video with your regular speech, you would obviously not have to import as much. You wouldn't have to time it as much because it would do that all automatically for you. But you are obviously able to change the font, you're able to select the size, whether it's bold, italic, the positioning of the text and everything like that as well. So really, really useful and you're able to make it look exactly how you want it for your video. You are able to translate the lyrics into different languages by hitting translate and then translating to any of these ones that we've got you know, every single language there is you might need. And then you also have the styles tab, which allows you to, again, edit all the text. You can change these different subtitle styles. You can change it to yellow, block subtitles, everything like that, and change more stuff like the letter spacing, perhaps, or the text lines to three, subtitle effects, whether we wanted to have a shadow, an outline, everything like that is just built straight in here, which is really, really handy. Then under the text, you are able to import your own text. If I hit this, as you can see, headline title has appeared. Now, double clicking on this does allow you to change all the information about that. You can save custom style, you can reset title and edit the text itself. So just put hello. Uh, we can obviously change this to maybe 100, nice size, 150, a little bit bigger. We could change it to a different font. We can bold it, italic it. We can move it to the left, to the right, to the middle, all of these different things. And it allows you to move your subtitles realistically wherever you want. And I think this actually looks quite nice, having the uh, the text basically just on the horizon. I think that actually fits really, really well. So having that maybe for a sunset video is something that you might want to do. But realistically, why would somebody want to use a piece of software like this? And this is one of the things that we have to talk about. And I think the reason why people would want to use this is because if you're an influencer or you're a video creator, or, or maybe you just want to create something with subtitles without having to add them all yourself, this is one of the greatest ways to do that. A lot of the time, having subtitles just makes it more interactive. It could be a funny skit for TikTok, or it could be a business meeting that you have subtitles for so that people who maybe are hard of hearing can still understand what was going on. And I think that this basically simplifies the whole process of doing that and creating a subtitled video so that anybody can look at your video and anybody can understand and recognize what is going on. And being able to do that automatically without you having to type every single word individually and listen to every single word, that just saves a lot of time. And that is something that businesses need. Time is money. That's what they say. We also have transition. So you are able to transition between certain images if you did want to. It is slight a video editing suite as well. Not so much. Its main feature obviously is the subtitling, is the upload, and is the text. But you can add features to the video itself. So if I drag it down, we can select the video speed if we wanted to. But if we head back to transitions, so once we've actually clicked on one of these, any single time we make a cut or we make a transition, such as a split, it will use that transition for us. But as you can see, the transition transition has already been imported but it's since it's such a similar video and it literally just follows on because I've split and I haven't removed anything obviously the transition won't be visible because it will basically be going from the exact same frame to the next frame so you won't be able to see it. but that's how you would do it and then finally we have the elements tab now this is very very simple if you wanted to import an element you just click and what you're then able to do is obviously move the emoji around as you please and once you've double clicked you can import as much of them as you want as you can see we've got these all over the place and you can make them appear at different times and you can move them around to your liking but it basically allows you to create more custom videos a simplified video editing is what this aims to be and it does that really really well you obviously have brand logos so if you're doing something for a branded instance or something like that you're able to use instagram google skype facebook spotify youtube all these different things but you also have things such as call outs or discounts if you've maybe got a sale uh, you're able to import that for a sale thing but obviously the subtitling is the main feature of this and we need to talk about the way that that is done and i think that it's excellent um i think just the way that this whole thing is simple and really easy to understand intuitive to use is one of the greatest uh, benefits that this software has and then finally, under the size and the settings area, you're able to switch between original, you're able to you change the aspect ratio as well. And one of the things I love about this software is the plethora of aspect ratios that they offer. You have original, you have square, 
YouTube, Landscape, Twitter and Facebook, Twitter and Facebook Landscape, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Pinterest and LinkedIn Landscape or Portrait. You have so many options on this for different platforms that you might want to use this for. And that is something that you just can't take for you have to, you can't take for granted because being able to have that flexibility and not just use this for maybe one software but as many as you need. That is an absolute must have. And I love that they have included that. Uh, that is more or less it for Nova. So now it begs the question, do I recommend Nova? And if so, why? And the answer is yes. Very, very easily, the answer is yes. The subtitling feature is excellent. I think that it basically does all the addition of creating the text, moving it at the right time, actually writing the text all for you. And if, as I said, numerous and time after time, if you have a clip that has good audio and you can understand clearly what the person is saying a little bit like this, it will make those subtitles miles better than what we got but having that option to edit those subtitles once you've created them is also brilliant it means that you have flexibility it means that you don't have to rely completely on the software because obviously robots and ai will make errors and us as humans we have things that we like so being able to change that is an excellent excellent thing I also really like the idea of having the text, the transitions, and, and just overall having elements that you can brand it if you wanted to and make it a little bit more personalized and trustworthy is great. And I think that the overall experience of using Nova is great and anybody will be able to instantly pick it up without any knowledge in any you know web design or video editing. It's very easy and anybody can pick it up and create something worthwhile. But thank you everyone for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.